You've been hearing about percentages your whole life. You use them for grades, for tips, even how likely it is to rain. And knowing how to figure out percentages will be very useful on the ACT. But first, it might be helpful to know what the word percent actually means. The word percent literally means per 100. For example, 20% can be expressed as 20 per 100. We can show this relationship as 20 over 100. X percent would be written as X over 100, P percent would be P over 100, and if a question asks what percent, we write it as either X over 100 or P over 100. When you're reading a word problem about percentages, all of the following words and phrases mean equals. Is, are, was, were, is equal to, is equivalent to, yields, and represents. Now with that knowledge, let's solve a percentage problem by turning words into equations. Our example problem reads, in a college with 14,000 students, 490 are majoring in mathematics. What percentage of the student body does the number of math majors represent? We'll underline the facts. 14,000 students and 490 are majoring in mathematics. Now circle the keywords. Percentage of the student body, and number of math majors represent. Finally, label the answer choices percentage of math majors. In order to turn this word problem into an equation we can solve, we'll go through the problem word by word and translate as we go. This question starts with what percentage? That's our cue to write P over 100. Next, the question says of the student body. Of means multiply. Of the student body means times the student body, which is 14,000. So we can write P over 100 times 14,000. The next phrase in the question says, does the number of math majors represent? We know that represent means equals, and there are 490 math majors. Now we can write our complete equation. P over 100 times 14,000 equals 490. You still with me? We're almost done. Now all that's left to do is the algebra. You got this. We'll multiply both sides by 100 to get 14,000p equals 49,000. Now divide both sides by 14,000. You can enter this in your calculator to get 3.5. So p equals 3.5%. The p represents the what in the question. So the answer to the question, what percentage, is 3.5% or a little thing we like to call choice D. Let's take a look at another example, but for this problem, it's your turn to give it a go without me. This is a pause and solve problem, so grab scratch paper and a pencil. When I say pause, you'll pause this video and work out the problem like it's test day. When you're done, restart the video and we'll go through it together. Here's the problem. There are 160 baseball players participating in Greendale Little League. 48 players are left-handed and 4 are ambidextrous. The remaining players are right-handed. What percentage of players in the league are right-handed? The answer choices are possible percentages of right-handed players. Okay, ready, set, pause. How did it go? Let's go over it to make sure you're ready for your next at-bat on the real test. First thing we need to do is underline the facts. 160 baseball players, 48 players are left-handed, 4 are ambidextrous, and the remaining players are right-handed. Now we'll circle the keywords, what percentage of players, and are right-handed. Next we'll label the answer choices, percentage right-handed. The question is asking us for the percentage of right-handers, so the first thing to do is to figure out how many righties there are. We know there are 160 baseball players total, 48 lefties and 4 ambidextrous players. The remaining players are righties, and we can find their number by subtracting the left-handed and ambidextrous players from the total. Take out our calculator and we see that 160 minus 48 minus 4 equals 108. Now that we know we have 108 right-handed players, let's go through the problem word by word and translate it into an equation. The question starts with what percentage? That's our cue to write P over 100. Next, the question says of players. Of means multiply. Of players means multiply the players, which is 160. So we can write P over 100 times 160. The last part of the question says are right-handed. 
We know that R means equals, and there are 108 right-handed players, so we can write our complete equation. P over 100 times 160 equals 108. Now we just need to do a little bit of algebra. First, we'll divide both sides by 160. You can use your calculator to get P over 100 equals 0.675. Then multiply by 100 to get 67.5%, which is answer choice D. That's all there is to it. Now for the important question, what percentage will you calculate to tip your test prep instructor?